I've been talking to people on and off, best way to farm Kuva. Well, to be honest, and this is kind of a no-brainer, best way to farm Kuva, do these missions. The Kuva Siphons. The Flood here will get you the most. Uh, the rest of them you can do those, they will still give you Kuva. Or, probably the best way to do it is this mission. The Kuva Survival. The whole idea of that, if you take a Necros, it will go so much quicker. Well, not quicker, it still takes time, it's a survival, but you can do, wow, an hour there and come out with a nice amount of Kuva. That is, of course, one of the nicer ways to do it. And yes, the Kuva Fortress moves. You saw it, it kind of jumped there. That's because it is moving around the map. It's never in the same place. So where that is depends upon where the Kuva missions are. They are on planets near it. Should be some here as well. Won't be on planets far away from it. No Kuva missions. No Kuva missions. Mars. No Kuva missions. That's a nightmare before anybody mentions it. Mercury, no Kuva missions. Sedna, not sure. Possibly not. Nope, no Kuva missions. Just the two that are near it. Possibly some on Europa? Nope, none on Europa. Because it's between these two planets, so it's gone to these two. That is the basics of it. Kuva missions. Always worth doing. Not that much, but then there is this weird system that they added for liches. Kuva liches, to be in fact. To be in fact. Made no sense there, but never mind. They drop Kuva as well. If you are in the mood of farming Kuva from them, and you don't have an active one, hopefully, the best way to do it using the new system, um, let's see if I have this footage still. Kuva Lichlings. We will come to one in a moment, and as soon as I, I take it out, I'll be able to demonstrate this. Uh, da -da -da -da, turn around, and... Kuva! Actually, that was a bad spawn of that. Because they have added this system in, this is also a very inefficient way of forming it, but I know people who are doing this, so have to kind of throw this in here. Now I need to go and find this Kuva Lichling. Lovling, sorry. Uh, since they added this system that shows you the weapon they are going to drop, a lot of people notice this farming capability because you do not have to claim or spawn this lich, which means you can go back into any mission of a certain level, get to that in a second, and take out another one. They will drop 100, not 200, uh, Kuva. If you have a resource booster, Kuva is of course doubled. I do have one, hence it said 200. It's normally 100 a time, but you can do these missions fairly quickly. Because if you don't have a active lich, being this down here, which I will get to in a second, because yes, you can farm them, any mission level 20 or higher that is Grenier based, see, that one won't work, that one won't work, uh, that one should, that one should, as long as you do the Kuva Siphon mission, it is over level 20. Um, Syndicate mission, it's over 20. The normal missions, well, really, there's only a couple and they don't work, so you have to go to places like Saturn and that'll work. Uh, that, that'll work, just 21, anything over level 20. Then, of course, near the Kuva Fortress, you have the Kuva Siphon missions on the nearest planets. These are also a more efficient way of getting your hands on Kuva and Requiem Relics. Requiem Relics from normal Kuva Siphons have a chance to drop, but from the Kuva Flood mission, which tends to be that one, which is much, much higher level, 80 to 100 versus 25 to 35, much higher level, that is pretty much a guaranteed chance of dropping a Requiem Relic as well as farming Kuva. This is meant as more of an efficient way of actually farming it, and if you go to the where the alerts used to be before, 
they are all listed here anyway. So finding these missions is much easier now they are there. You can see what they are. Uh, hive infestation, rescue corpus, capture infestation. You can see where they are. Oh, there's actually some on Eris as well as Pluto. Oh, uh, no, wait, that makes sense. It was Lua I was thinking of because we're sitting on Eris here. It's Lua that doesn't have any. But you can find them listed here as well. So that's two different ways. There is the Kuva Lovling. 100 at a time, you can do get 100 per mission there, bit time consuming. There is the Kuva missions themselves, probably one of the most efficient places to do it, or, and I'm only mentioning this because I'm actively doing this at the moment, there is the Kuva Lich themselves. The first Requiem that I found worked. And I was really happy because it, it allowed me to do this. Take them down once. Once, once. Okay, granted I accidentally pressed it a second time there. Once, once. I have the second Requiem. Just, just actually added that in. <laughs> but once, 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 once. People don't get as mad at you when you are still spawning the... I think it's 400? Uh, Kuva? Because you are taking out, or you are knocking them down once. Taking them, if I had the second one, which I'm hoping this will do, that's even better. Because as long as you don't fail, the red zero here with a line through it is the perfect example of this. They will then level up to level two, which is what my Kuvalic is. I needed him to level up though, so it was an accident. Kind of glad I did it. I keep forgetting. Double resource booster. Rank 1 is 150 Kuva. Rank 2 is 200 Kuva. Rank 3 is 250 Kuva. Rank 4 is 300 Kuva. Every time you take them out. So, if you can have the first two, you can have... I will take mine because it's level 2. 200 every time, at least for the third and fourth one here. If the second ones were there, another 200. Then you don't do the third one if you don't know what it is. You will not take out your Kuvalich, you will not kill them. You then just kill them, sorry, down them three times and they will leave. Next time they spawn, do the same thing. If you are lucky enough to be able to have the Requiem's known. Because if you know the Requiem, you're not going to take out the Lich, which means that you can kind of form them. This is something I have only ever seen work once. I don't know this. This whole technique, yes, it would work. It's also highly inefficient. Again, one of the best ways to actually be able to get your hands on Kuva, even though taking down the Kuva works, if you know the Requiems, has got to be this mission. It just, it is the best. All you have to remember is instead of actually activating these for oxygen, take out the Kuva based weapon or enemy that spawns, pick up the canister and get close to it. It just automatically kind of took it off me. Then with the, what is it, 51, 50, you can see it on the left of the screen there, seconds, and these guys are going down a bit easier than I was expecting them to, <laughs> to be honest. Um, way easier. Why is my Sentinel taking... Okay, that's because I'm used to taking out level uh, 50 plus. I just came out of a mission where they were 100 and something. Ooh, level 5 Kuva Liches are... Or can be quite nightmarish for those missions. Sometimes. Not all the time, just sometimes. And that was weird because... Okay, that, I was reading the wrong number. Doing this, it only takes a minute. These things spawn all the time. You can already see the second one is now spawning in. This one is going to end in a couple seconds. If I had a Necros, the survival... you This is why you take a Necros, is the best way I can put this. It stops you from needing to activate these. And there is, technically, again, resource booster. It was 200. Working on another one, do simple math every two and a half, three minutes, because it's at two and a half minutes and this isn't quite completed yet, you can get your hands on 200 Kuva. In the same mission, you don't have to spend the time leaving and coming back, which means that 
Well, the simple maths of this is it takes less time to get the Kuva, it's quicker to get the Kuva, and the only thing that really slows you down any is waiting for the oxygen containers to spawn so you can get your enemies. Please don't spawn upstairs, that can be really annoying. To get the canisters, which is why I was saying every two and a half, three minutes, really that's three minutes and we've already had two of them, so it's less time than that. But, hey, I don't care what anybody says, Kuva farming, this has got to be the easiest way. Yes, you can use that overcomplicated taking out a Kuva, not downing the Kuva Lich, not taking them out and just letting them despawn by killing them three times once you have your Kuva from knowing the correct Requiem without taking the third one out. If you do all three, then your Kuva Lich will automatically be taken out and you can no longer use this. It's quicker than doing the normal siphons if you have access to the actual fortress here. It's quicker than farming the Lichling because yes the Lichling drops some as well. Uh, I just remembered I was using melee while I was waiting to reload but this it is the quickest way. There is no arguing this, but I know somebody is going to go to the comment section and try to argue this. The Kuva survival is the quickest way to form this. You complete one of these, you get 200 Kuva, you move on to the next one. I'm literally soloing this and it's not that hard. You do 20 minutes here, rinse and repeat. The only problem is... Um, I don't know where the big guy is that... Where, what, what happened? There he is! Yeah, that was a bit delayed, wasn't it? Or were you hiding there the whole time and just... I didn't notice. Or was it because the mission is about to end? That was weird. They should spawn at the same time that this canister spawns in. But anyway, that is the quickest way to do this. Farming Kuva, go for the fortress, go Kuva survival, it works. There are many different ways of farming Kuva. This is just one of the best. Obviously, upon trying to get a hold of all of these new Kuva weapons, because there is, what, 15 of them now in total? 12 before, three actual new ones. Okay, also, don't forget to actually defend. Otherwise, you will not get any of the Kuva that comes out of this if it is destroyed. But yes, best way, Kuva Fortress. Anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.